Dave, little guy. <laughs> how's all the, uh, you know, how's, how's everything? It's fine. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Well, no reason. You're up early, aren't you, for an early wet? <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> again, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, um, you know, if you're going to go and see Chance about your job, we just leave it a day or two. Right. I'm sure she'll come round. Yeah. See anything of Amanda since yesterday? No, no, I haven't. I wonder why she's going to tell us why she's turned up. I don't think it was to do with the wedding. Anymore. Well, she's wrong a scrounge, won't she? Probably best to leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice to see her, though, apart from the fight. Yeah, marvellous. Right, and you go. She hasn't been waiting. See you later. All the best. Hey. Oh, just the person. Had some breakfast. I mean, nice to catch up properly. I'm off sleep, Paddy. Oh, there's plenty of time for that clown. Well, I suppose... No, great, it's on me. Come on. Post office. Mr. Cafe and I, we're living the dream. It's fancy and they're gonna love it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, all the coffee's under the sun. Big Come, Come on. Where's all the cereal gone? Mandy. Mandy. Right, and there's no hot water. Mandy. Mandy. Well, nice of her to bankrupt us before starting to ask for money. Hiya, love. How are you feeling? A bit better, thanks. Bad for the pigs, can I do it? You don't be daft, you're our guest. I'd like to. I love pigs. Well, all animals, really. I did hamster once years ago. Proper escape parties, it drove mum mad. Yeah. Thanks. What's this? What's this? Hi. Does he remind you of someone? What's this? What's this? You all right, love? I'm fine, honestly. Oh. Um, two of your biggest breakfast, please, Brenda. No, I've already had a load of cereal. Oh, ho, 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 you don't want to miss out on Brenda's special. Uh, well, I'm on my own, so you might have a bit of a wait. We don't mind, we don't mind at all. Oh, sorry, this is uh, my cousin, Mandy. Nice to meet you. So, how was the big day? The big... Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, it was just the legal stuff, but good. It's his cousin, apparently. She didn't turn up when you and him got wed. Well, it's a big family, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... All set for the journey home, then. Are you trying to get rid of me? <laughs> of course not! Or trying to stop me from seeing Paddy. What? No! What? No! I just want to hear all your news. What are you doing with that lot? Could have this lot up and running in no time. A whole new line of ales. Too many bad memories. Yeah, but plenty of good ones and all. Don't let Lachlan ruin anything else. I know that I need something to focus on, but that is not it. Wingles was our thing. I thought that we were building our future together and to know what he was doing that entire time. I'm sorry, we didn't think. Don't upset yourself. We'll get rid of it. Can't arrive for you, by the way. Yeah, two weeks late. Right, come on, kids, why'd you be late for school? Here we go, then, boys. Sardine paste and egg sandwiches. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's ham and cheese. He's only messing about. Yeah, well, it's stupid. Hey, what's the matter with you? Well, get yourself ready, please, and shoot up here soon. Come on, kids, chop, chop, work, work. Hi. Have a good day, boys. Hey. Do you want me to take them? No, no, no. I can manage. <sighs> You're in a good mood. Yeah, I think I was a bit full on for Sarah. Oh, well, she gets fed up sometimes. Not that you can blame her. Stuck in the house all day. Yeah, it must be tough. Um, I think I might phone the clinic. Oh? See if they can tell me where I'm on the list. Is that a good idea? I thought you were OK with it. I am, but I just don't see why Hasselman's going to help. It's just a phone call, Mum. Feels like I've been waiting forever. Look, I, I get that you're worried. But I need to do this, Mum. I know. And I'm right behind you. Good luck. It's Lachlan. Has to be. He couldn't have. Not from prison. Better late than never. It must be your lucky day. Who else is going to send that? Yeah. It is a bit odd. It doesn't mean it's Lachlan. I mean, why would you bother? To mess with my head! Those dead flowers yesterday and that text on New Year's. And the break-in. What about it? 
for somebody to wreck all our stuff and not take anything. It has all been him. I don't see how it could have been love. He's locked up. Well, he's got someone working for him, then. Like who? He ain't got any mates. Even if it is it. Which it obviously is. It's no point getting in a state about it. He tried to kill you. So please do not expect me to just sit back and pretend that nothing is wrong. Police. Oh! I'm so sorry. Sorry, I was miles away then. <laughs> I bet you wish I was miles away, don't you, bumping into you like it's that? It's OK, we all zone out sometimes. Well, I do. So do rats. I've read about that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Well, DMN. It's default mode network. Are you rebooting or something? No, that's what it's called when you're using your, um, you Not using your brain? Exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Sure. Uh, uh, if, uh, how about I stay still, you go around. Deal. No. Brenda's bringing a couple more coffees and I thought these looked too good to miss out on. Oh, well, what are you up to? Me nothing. Why would I be up to anything? Well, I'm stuffed. Vinny will make light work of them. You two must have loads to catch up on. Oh, how long's it been? <sighs> 17 years, give or take. Well, I was thinking, if he's your cousin, then you'd be related to my Jenny. Another cousin? Yeah. I heard what happened. And I'm really sorry. Thanks. I don't half miss her. Sorry. I don't think I could cope if something like that happened to have any. What's he like? Still going through that awkward stage. And he won't best pleased to be missing college. <laughs> Brain easy. Compared to me. <laughs> he's doing this course in animal care. Really? Well, he's crazy about animals. That is a millionth time you've checked that thing. I'm just waiting for the uh, clinic to come back. What about the surgery? You're not wasting your time, are you? Well, I just want to see where I'm on the list and I'm hoping it's near the top. Do not worry you, because it is a big operation. Trust me, it'll be worth it. And what does your mum think? So she'll support me. What about you? Me? You know that I'm on your side. Doesn't really sound like it, if I'm honest. I just... I want you to be sure. <sighs> Look, Vic, it isn't the first time that I've not been able to breathe properly because of the binder. I can't even stand people hugging me just in case they feel it through my top. I hate it. Every day, it's just a constant reminder that this isn't my body. Do you, do you get how hard that is to live with? No, but I am trying to understand. And I'm happy for you, I promise. Thanks. Hey, what do you want? Uh, a coffee, please. I'm not expecting to get any sense out of him. Uh -huh, yeah, funny. Hey, what time do you reckon you'll finish? I don't know. Matt, he's phoning the clinic today about his top surgery. Well, he's got a date. No, he just wants to know how long it's going to be. So what's the problem? Well, there's no one. I suppose I'm just a bit worried. Yeah. Come from my car. Well, you've come too early. You said it'd be ready first thing. Well, does it look ready? Yeah, sorry. Uh, we had a few problems getting the parts, but give us say an hour and it'll be as good as new. I suppose I should have called first. Well, look, I'm, I'm sorry about that, but there's a cafe at the road anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my Jenny would have loved this. Long lost cousins popping out of nowhere. <laughs> Maybe it's because she was an only child. I mean, not that she was unhappy, far from it. But she did have a lot of imaginary friends. <laughs> Some of them were quite naughty. 
<laughs> right. Her life could have been so different. You know, sometimes I imagine she's living in Newquay, running a little cafe of her own and going for long walks along the beach. She might even have learned how to surf. Well, doesn't do to dwell, does it? Life takes you where it takes you. At least she had Molly. Poor Brenda. Mm. Makes me wonder what Robbie would be doing now. Oh, sorry. How are things with Nicola? Have you decided what to do with her yet? Not quite. She was getting on my nerves, so I sent her to oversee the decontamination of some land we're sitting on and old chemical works. I'll keep her busy for a while. <laughs> oh, she'll love that. Mm. Meanwhile, I have come up with an idea how to claw back some of the losses. Mm. Go on. I have got a new client who wants a full wedding package, the proposal, the engagement party, the big day itself, all at home farm. I take it he's a fan of the place. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how many people are. And it would be really lovely for us to work together again. And it'd be great for Take A Vow. So what do you think? Nothing to lose and it could be fun. Fantastic. The only thing is, is that there'll be alcohol around. Just for the events themselves, but um, I'd hate to think that was putting temptation in your way. It would be fine. I've been to enough parties over the years. I know, but it's different now with Joe. Sorry. Look, um, maybe the whole thing's a bad idea. Tell your client it's yes, and stop looking so worried. I've come a long way. Hmm? One for the road? No, I'll be stopping at every flipping service station as it is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't tell Vinny I had that Danish. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Straight back to Southampton, is it? Yeah, after I've seen Paddy. Yeah. What? Mandy? Hey, what about your bill? Oh, can I pay you later? Not after the amount you spent. Well, it's not like I'm going to skip town, is it, Brenda? Well, how am I supposed to run a business when everybody just pays me when they feel like <laughs> it? <laughs> oh, there's some money. Oh, thanks for coming. Where's D.I. Cox? On another case. What more important than this? I asked for D.I. Cox and D.S. Sanders. Sorry, he left a mate to do with us. No, this is serious. Why don't you tell me what's happened and we'll take it from there? OK, this is what's happened. And I don't know how he's doing it, but you've got to make it stop. Oh, you, you need to calm down for me. How can I when he's sending me sick messages? And do you know any more about the breaking? Not as yet. Yeah, exactly. I bet that's him as well. We can only go on the evidence. The flowers arrived yesterday. We thought it must be a mistake. No, you thought that. I knew something wasn't right. It's Lachlan. It must be your lucky day. Lucky was his stupid family nickname. He wouldn't be able to send stuff like this, would he? Do you recognise the handwriting? No, he would have got someone to write it. I can understand why you're scared. We'll, we'll look into it. Is that it? He tried to kill Sam. He hired a nurse to lock Rebecca up, not to mention the fact he has murdered four people. I reckon he can get someone to write a flaming card. We'll, we'll do all we can. Well, at least go and talk to him. We all know what he's capable of. If it'll put your minds at rest, I can make a call to the prison. But the strict protocol's in place. He's not allowed to contact you. Well, it's not working because he's clearly found a way to get to us. If you're worried or scared, you can always call. We'll bag these up. Perfect timing, love. Paddy around? Uh, no idea. Oh. Sorry. Whoa, 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 you can't go back there. I'm family. Mandy, stop, please. Whoa, whoa. Carl, you do. Oh, Molly, it's nothing to do with you. Oi! Mandy! What's going on? Have you chucked Billy out yet? What? No. Well, then you're not welcome in my pub. Oh, and I wish I didn't have to be. Well, you don't. Look, I need to see Paddy. It won't take long. Oh, that's the plan, is it? Just drop the bomb and run away. You are. Look, is he here? No, he's got on a call out. Oh, what a shame. Maybe catch him next time. What if you need to start talking now? OK, stop. She's here to tell him he's got a son. <laughs> Son, what are you on about? I don't understand. She's born with her here to the village, which is a really, really bad way of handling things. Are you going to shut up and let me get a word in? Oh, I do hope so. Mandy's not funny. I'm sorry it is, though. Well, I, Paddy don't have a secret son. Or if he does, it, it's not Vinny and it's not with me. 
But you said you had something big to tell him. Well, and that's where your brain went. Right, right, I have had enough of this. If you have come back to tell Paddy Summer, I want to know what it is. Right. I'm having a clear out. And I found some of his old things. There were a photo of this um, wrestler that you were into, um, Beowulf. Beowulf? They were great. Right. The frame had come loose and that were tucked inside. Barbara Cope, that's... That's Paddy's mum. Come in. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm sorry to call around like this. No, it's fine. I I feel a bit of an idiot, but Graham's not the easiest man to talk to, and I don't mean to pry, but I could do with some advice. Kettle's just boiled. Come on. Is this about his drinking? I think he's finding it harder than it's letting on. That's normal. You seem to cope really well. Hmm. Perhaps, on the surface. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I'm sure it can't be easy. Well, it helps looking after the kids. And Dad keeps his eye on me. But it was hard in the start, you know? You have to follow the programme. Avoid temptation. Like having a house full of booze? A house with any booze. Uh, we're thinking of expanding the events business at Home Farm. Bad idea. Well, the meetings are crucial for Graham. Uh, yeah, yeah, he does that. And has he got a sponsor? Um, he hasn't said anything. I couldn't have got through some days without mine. They understood like nobody else can. I mean, he can go to meetings every day, and he should if he needs to, but to have someone at the end of the phone, night or day, well, I think that is so important. Is there anything I should be looking for? I mean, any warning signs? Um... Stress is a big thing, moodiness, euphoria, lying, especially lying. If you get a hint that he's not being truthful, then you need to get him to speak to somebody. Easier said than done. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid so. So, um, the events business. Graham says that he can cope, but I want to be sure. And the lying's back. That's what addicts do to themselves more than anyone else. So you have to be certain that he is being honest with himself about that. Shall I make us a cuppa? It's good news, really, that he can't have been Lachlan. Except it was. Swirling seemed pretty sure. Since when did you listen to the police? It's just... You might be... What? You know, seeing things that aren't there. No, you saw it for yourself. Oh, cards get stuck in post all the time, especially at Christmas. Right, and what about the flowers, Sam? Have you got a handy explanation for those? No, I didn't think so, so I'm going to go ring Kane because he'll know what to do. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. OK, bye. Chaz is going to have to take someone else on because I can't do everything on my own. You're all right. You look terrible. That was the clinic. Oh, no. What did they say? I can't believe it. It's, it's happening. What, they're doing the op? That's amazing! When? In April. Oh, Vic, I, I can't wait. I'm so excited, though. I'm just shaking now. How ridiculous is that? Oh, I'm so chuffed for you. Thanks for being so understanding. No harm done. Then I've got to see twice as much of you. Sorry, that uh, came out wrong. <sighs> Did me a favour, really. A couple hours off work. Not that my boss is too happy. Doesn't look like yours is either. Oh, ignore him. And he's not my boss. He's the skivvy. <laughs> Deb is the brains of the outfit. You won't find a better mechanic. And she's single. Nan, sorry about her. Don't be. I should be getting back. Nice to meet you, though. Again. Mm-hmm. What are you playing at? Oh, he's gorgeous and you obviously like each other. No, I'm not interested. It's too soon. It always will be. Oh, 
It's all there, isn't it? Do you think that's healthy? She'll be OK. You sure about that, are you? Because she seems pretty broken to me. My dearest darling Barbara. Another night without you, and it's making me despair. I long to hold you in my arms and stroke your golden hair. I'll wait for you in my dreams, your ever-loving bear. This is terrible. They certainly weren't much of a poet. I'll oh, save the wisecracks. But he'll be devastated if we tell him. Well, we have to tell him. It's why I've come back from Southampton. But what's the point of bringing it all up? Both his parents are long dead. I think you better check that postmark. September 1968. And when's Paddy's birthday? Um, 1st of July. 1969. Lives there. Oh, do you know a Debbie Dingle? Yeah, that's me. Would you sign it for me, please? Thank you. Cheers. Why are you getting stuff delivered here? I'm not. Can't you be at school? I had a dentist. It's from Joe. I'll get him to call you. Where's Graham? But I didn't send you there, did I? It's not my fault. Oh, I'm sorry. I said, but... where is Graham? Yes, I heard. He's at a meeting. Well, then ring him. I'm getting enough free today, thank you. I need to know what this is about, Bria. Oh, I'm so sorry. I meant to cancel this. What? Joe asked me to book a surprise trip for you both to Norway, a Northern Lights cruise, and then different presents arriving every week to build up to it. I mean, you didn't say at the time, but I think, looking back, it was an odd hint to a delayed honeymoon. When did you book it? Well, that was a bit weird. It was really rushed, but when? I was so Were excited. You? The day before the masquerade ball. I mean, that's how I can remember, cos I already had so much going on. When was it for? No, just think, this is important. The 10th of January, I think. Yes, yes, it was. This was your last present, and you would have been going in a couple of days. It was really thoughtful of him. Dead romantic, really. Sorry, that's the last thing you need to hear. Has he been in touch? Text messages, emails, anything? No. Not that I know of. Not that he'll talk about it. He can't have just disappeared. I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Right, I want you to think. Go back to the board. Did anything weird happen? Well, Graham was acting a bit strangely. He shut him and Joe in the kitchen for ages, but I don't know what that was about. Well, doing what? Was he shouting? Was he talking? No, what was I going don't know. on? Right, think about bags. Did you have any bags with him? Like maybe he was going somewhere? No, nothing like that. Nothing at all. I'm so sorry. But he can't have been. He could have been. But we can't ever know, not for sure. It's pretty obvious if you ask me. I mean, look at that. Okay, maybe. I mean, maybe. But even if it's true. Bringing it all up is not going to achieve anything. Beyond breaking Paddy's heart. He could have a dad out there somewhere. He had a dad. He's got a right to know. At any cost. <laughs> is that Beowulf? Uh, yes, we were... Uh... We're reminiscing. We're... What are you doing here? Are you two made up? Yes, yes. Well, I, well, I need a chef, don't I? I knew you'd come round. Mm. Mm. That man was the best wrestler this side of the Pennines. He was a true gent, and he always had time for his fans. Beowulf. We didn't mean to upset you earlier. Yeah, of course not. 
What did Kane say? He didn't answer, I just left a voicemail. Oh, come in. So, have you found anything? Have you spoken to him? There's no evidence to directly link Lachlan to the flowers or card. Oh, finally. What's going on? Lachlan, not that anyone will listen to me. I've spoken to the prison. They certainly couldn't have arranged it. They're putting extra precautions in place anyway. It's the sentencing on Thursday, so I hope that brings you some kind of closure. We'll be in touch if we hear anything. Did you know about that? Yeah, I've known for ages, but what difference does it make if you can still get to me from prison? What? You always know someone who can sort stuff out, don't you? Yeah. Well, I'll make a few calls. But if whoever it is comes back, you can stop them, can't you? I'll do my best. Hey, Mandy messaged earlier. Wondered if we all fancied meeting up for a farewell drink. Take Vinny with us. Oh, not seen him for ages. <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Hey, do you think maybe we should take her to see the doctor again? Oh, I don't know. I'll leave it a bit, I reckon. See what game comes up with. That move where he put his arm around him yeah. like that, and then do oh, the bam! Oh, like that. Oh, I used to watch him too. <laughs> Man was a magician, wasn't he? Do Remember that move as well? Oh. Kind of... oh. oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Knock it off, will yeah. Anyway, to bear. Oh, to bear. Yeah. You obviously meant a lot to you. Yeah. Um, well, not exactly. I was a massive fan, but it was more about my mum and dad. We'd spend the summers being proper groupies and we'd follow him round on these little tours and, um... Yeah, sounds a bit tragic, doesn't it? A little bit. No, it doesn't. Go on. Well, it's my dad. He, he, he could be difficult. He'd get depressed. But then, once the wrestling starts, it's like he'd come alive. And those summers were the best in my entire childhood. Did your mum like it, then, the wrestling? She did. She loved it. We all did. We'd stay at these really cheap hotels, but we wouldn't mind. And me and my dad would get up first thing, go and queue up for ages, and my mum would stay behind and get herself sorted. And then we'd just kick around wherever we were until the real fun started. It's good times. I wonder what he's up to now. Probably can't, it? No. I'd have heard. So he's, um, he's never been in touch, then, about anything? Of course not. Why would he be? No, I mean... It was years ago, wasn't it? Even so. Oh, I've just remembered. Um, you should show Mandy your pictures from the Maldives. She's thinking of going to the Maldives. I know it's not ideal, but there are plenty of other venues we can look at. <laughs> you are my priority, Miles, but Home Farm is fully booked. I'm sorry, there's been a misunderstanding. Can we call you back? What are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. I thought we'd agree. Or did I miss something? I just don't think holding events here is one of my best ideas. It's not fair on you. Isn't that for me to decide? But what if you get it wrong? You're more important to me than the business. Which is very nice of you. But, um, you're going to have to trust me. Is there something you're not telling me? I went to see Laurel. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. But I'm not like her. You're an alcoholic. And I have been for a long time. I can control it. You should call Miles back. It's not right, putting you under that kind of pressure. Megan, I'm surrounded by temptation. If I wanted a drink, I could walk down the road or go into Hotton. But I don't want one. This could be really good for us both. A new challenge. the same bird flying. Do you really want to go to the Maldives? I don't think I need to anymore. Sorry, it's just that I assumed that you were after money. 
you're not coming all this way. I could take offence by that. <laughs> <laughs> so why, then? I mean, it's good to see you again. It, it is. It's brilliant. But I can't help but wondering what it's all about. You think too much. Uh, oh, oh, bro, you saved me a trip. Where's Spinny? You went for a walk ages ago. Oh, I probably found a pigeon to rescue or something. <laughs> <laughs> Two orange juices, please, and Sam's on his way, so you might as well get us a pint, too. Silly fool left his wallet at home. Only realised when we're about to walk in here. Well, that's one way of avoiding you round. <laughs> hey, then we're on me to say thanks for having us. Oh, my word, you really have changed. Well, people do. It has been a fair few years. Don't start all that again. I just about give up on you. Sorry, I, I was just... Uh, it doesn't matter, you're here now. <laughs> Hello again. You two met? Kind of bumped into each other, yeah. Uh, Paddy, Vinny, Vinny, Paddy? <laughs> um. <sighs> He's a vet. Wow. Bless him. <laughs> a bit starstruck. <laughs> but you don't get that very often. <laughs> oh. oh, get the bags. Party's over, folks. Oh, my lift's arrived. A lift all the way from Southampton? Look, trust me, you want to see this. Well, come on, you lot. I want a proper goodbye. Come on. Ah, you're late. <laughs> I bet you got lost, didn't you? <laughs> she didn't come back for money, then. Oh, yeah. So why? For the wedding. Oh. It's been brilliant meeting you properly. Yeah, you too. Oh. Look after him, won't you? No, oh, of course. You take care of yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm doing very nicely. Bit of an improvement on Vinny's dad. <laughs> oh. Sam? Slow down, what is it? <laughs> Are you OK? We're on our way. What's wrong? We've got to go. Lovely to meet you. Oh, cheer up, you lot. They'll be glad to see me go. It's not the end. It's never the end. Why don't you tell them what you really came for? I want the right time. did say you were my priority, which is why I've managed to move things round and we are good to go. Yeah. OK, I'll be in touch. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it seems like I've got some work to do. Can you please call Nicola and tell her to stop having a go at me? I'll ignore her. She'll give up eventually. No, it's not you. She's driving crazy. Oh, and I uh, forgot to tell you, but Debbie called round. What for? Had I heard from Joe? Had you heard from Joe? Did I see him at the ball? How was he acting? Why would she suddenly be asking about him again? Well, actually, that was my fault. Do you remember Joe asked me to arrange a load of presents for her? You know, one a week from, well, what would have been their wedding day? And? And after he left, you asked me to cancel them. But I forgot to cancel one and it arrived earlier. But I didn't tell her anything. Not that there's anything to tell, just that, you know, he seemed fine before he left. Then let's hope that's an end to it. I won't have her upsetting my staff. Has he really not been in touch, like, at all? No. And he just left without hardly any of his stuff? I'm sure there must be some work you can be getting on with. Unless you'd rather I found someone else to do it. Sam? Sam, what's happened? Call an ambulance. 
No, no, I'm all right. No, you're not. Look at you. Right, it's not mine. It's Gloria. I'm sorry. Gloria? Oh, it can't be. She can't be. Well, what's happened? Was it an accident? She's been killed. I was right. I can't keep secrets from him. Especially not something like this. We don't even know if it's true. There's a chance, though. And the affair part certainly is. Don't you think you've both been through enough? Exactly. And when we're not honest with each other, that is when the problems happen. I... You're grieving. And that is a really bad time to make big decisions. I can't lie to him. No, no, I'm not asking you to, but that's not the same as not telling him. Of course it is. Sorry, Marlon. We will help him get through this, but me and him, well, we have to trust each other completely. It took him years to get over his dad's suicide. Years. And this could set him right back. And for what? A bad poem and a slight resemblance. Please don't do it to him, Chaz. I have to. Yeah, thanks. But PC swirling, that's right. Thanks. Bye. They'll be here as soon as they can. Sorry I scared you. I'm for not believing you. It's OK. Shall I call Kane? I'll, uh, I'll send him a message. Do you think she suffered? I don't know. Hey, try not to upset yourself. I'm sure it'll have been quick. Killing an innocent animal to scare us, that is sick. What you said. Outside. About being right. Lachlan knows what the pigs mean to us. And he's cruel enough to do it. Yes, madam, what can I get you? Well, someone sounds like they're in a good mood. Yeah. So I'm guessing this means you've spoken to the clinic. Still a bit of a wait. But only till April. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, and it's, it's one of the best surgeons, so... Well, I should hope so. I take it we're not breaking out the champagne, then. Darling, I've still got work to do. Look, I'm sorry, but it's hard, OK? I mean, just the thought of you having an operation, any operation, it's worrying. Mum, I need it. I know. And all I want is for you to be happy. Hi, Sam. Oh, no, you're joking. Is everyone OK? Okay, well, thanks for the warning. All right, cheers, bye. Hey, what's happened? Oh, one of the dingle pigs have been killed. So Sam's calling all the local farmers, telling us to check in our animals. Listen, I'm going to have to go, but I promise you I will cook you a special tea. Okay? Bye. You came back from the pub for your wallet. Yeah, I can't have been gone more than ten minutes. They must have been watching. And like the card said, all eyes on the birthday girl. You didn't see anyone hanging around acting suspiciously. They could have been hiding anywhere. And if you'd have taken me a bit more seriously at the beginning, this might not have happened. Obviously, we will be talking to Lachlan, but is there anyone else who might have some sort of grudge against you? Of course not. Anyone came might have upset. A few folk over the years. Yeah, but enough to do this? I'll need to take statements from the three of you. Of course. Bloody is inside. I know it's Lachlan. All right, and I'm going to go see him. You can't. He's dangerous. Yeah, not with all those prison guards about. But I need to talk to him. I need to find out the truth. Right, well, in that case, I'm coming with you. No arguments.
Should Sam call you too? Hey, what is it? What's wrong? It's just... I don't know who I am anymore. You sure you don't want anything stronger? So what's up? The best is yet to come. All my love, Joe. Well, he's got a nerve. Came this morning. He had pre-arrange all. A Northern Lights cruise, leaving on Thursday. Today would have been our three-month anniversary. Well, he can keep his coat in his stupid <sighs> cruise. Let's just go back to the day of the ball. You saw him, didn't you? Yes, in passing. Right, well, think. Think. Did anything seem, I don't know, just odd? As far as I knew, he was on his way to the hospital, love. <sighs> something happened after we left? Well, yes. He did a bunk. You, you need to stop this. You need to give yourself a chance to move on. I know you said you weren't interested in that no, bunk at the garage. No, no, sure, you don't understand this. You, I understand this. You are turning yourself in knots, and for what? It's not just about this. It's not about the jacket. It's not about the cruise. But you told me that there was a present arriving every week. And he planned it all the day before he was going to marry me. Why is he going to do all of that and then leave me at the altar? Look, I wouldn't bother trying to fathom out how his mind works. He's not really worth it. This is the, uh, the fifth spot where my dad smacked me over the head. It's put me in my place. Yeah, but you're past all that. <laughs> Am I? It's a long time ago. You're a different person now. <laughs> At least I knew who I was back then. A thug. Not a murderer, though. You mean like me? No. Oh, it's different. I was, uh... <sighs> I've ruined Debbie's life. She's young, she'll move on. Like, you need to. Well, how can I? I'm not used to anyone like this. I couldn't defend my I can't protect our bell. I'll never forgive myself for putting Debbie through all this. Pictures of my mum and dad. They look happy. I need to tell you something. The day that Gracie died, I told you I didn't have any happy memories of my dad. I know. It must be hard. I was wrong. I'd just forgotten. Just packed my way somehow after he died in here. But there were good times. It was one of the bear wolf holidays. Just all of a sudden miss him so much. My dad I mean, not bear wolf. <laughs> it's my dad and all. We both know what he was like. <laughs> Sorry. I interrupted you. What were you gonna say? You had something to tell me. Can't have been important. <laughs> I need to report a missing person. Joe Tate, my fiance, has been gone for three months. I'll get your form. No, 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 no. I'm not going to fill out any forms. 
I just want you to find him. Next tonight, it's time for your annual financial checkup. The Martin Lewis Money Show is live in three.